Hey everyone, this is DJ Music, and I'm back with another video. Today, we're going to be doing some memory cells and memory latches and variables and wonderful stuff that stores data. Um, this has actually been improved greatly since the new snapshot. I am running on 14W06B, uh, but this is basically just going to be a video overviewing the new ways to do it, as well as some of the old ways and some stuff that I might be using. So the way that I've done it in the past is just with a block. This is basically a 2-bit cell. Um, it goes on and off. You can have on and off kind of annoying but it does work um, I use this basically what happens when this is there um, I can tell that this is um, on because it up as a signal so I can literally just like say oh look it's on so I can say like the game has started um, I usually have one of these when the game starts just so I can see if the game has started and then I can run clocks and stuff depending on if the game started or not so yeah this is just one way you can do it you can do it wirelessly um, or direct I usually do direct for some stuff and wirelessly so basically this is the direct way, and then the wireless uses the test for block, uh, the coordinates, and then the redstone block. So that's that's pretty much it. As you can see, this only does a one redstone signal, uh, which is kind of good, kind of not good, depending on how you think about it. But now, there's lots of other things you can do. So this is actually shown by uh, QWERTY, U uh, QWERTY OP, uh, the Pi. This is, uh, I met him through a map making group, and he suggested doing this. Um, I experimented with it, expanded on it and you can do a lot with it so I'm going to show you what I've learned and some cool stuff so this is the way that he showed me uh, basically if you open it up you literally cannot see anything uh, but the way that it actually works is that it changes the success count so you can see the block data command so you run a block data on this block uh, then all you change is the success count colon 2000 um, so right now if I do this you'll see all the redstone turns on You'll see the block data has been updated as in the bottom. And yeah, so even though actually this block right now, if you look at it, it has a success thing um, of 2000. So even though it has success to count, it's um, still only goes 15. That's just because the resident limit is 15. So you can't glitch that, unfortunately. But yeah, you can actually do custom variables. So like 15, uh, and I go to 10, 10 blocks, uh, 5 blocks, and 1. So the nice thing about this is you can actually um, completely automate this. So let's say you wanted to actually only, you want to put out exactly a five tick pulse. You can literally just say that, um, to set the success count to five. And then this, this can be, um, you can use this as like a, a five tick only redstone um, torch. So this is actually, as long as you put, if you put blocks here, nothing will happen. The only time something will happen is if you update with redstone. Because there's literally nothing inside, it would just break it. But yeah, you can literally use this to store data. So if you want to check for it, that's what this is for. Uh, basic, oh, just kidding, it's this guy. Yeah. So basically the way you test for it is use the test for block command coordinates, uh, command block. Uh, in the next snapshot 07, I believe that making negative 1 work for any type of command block. Since that you have to actually put the tags after it. So if you, I'm going to use negative 1. It does work in the snapshot as well. I'm not sure exactly how. Uh, but then success count, colon, and then the value. So I have an extra bracket there. But let's say we want 14. Or 4, apparently, because I typed 4. So if you type anything, it's not going to turn on. It'll only turn on if I set this guy to 4. So type 4 there. Click 4. And nothing works. Oh, that's why. So there was a hidden character at the end of that. Um, that's why it didn't work. Now it will work. Yep. That's just a weird bug. Um, if the like, it's actually an invisible character that's like you can't see it. It just you have to hit backspace in order to delete it. Gotta love it. I don't know what the character is, but it that's what happened there. So now four, um, right there. If you said to anything else, it'll delete it. So you can actually check to be see if it's four. Um, and you can use any number up to two thousand. So this is basically a numerical up to actually it's more than two thousand. I think I tested it up to a uh, hundred thousand or two hundred thousand. So you can pretty much do any number. So like if you wanted to say how many wins they had, how many um, stuff they had, yeah, it's pretty easy. The only problem with doing this is you actually cannot check it. Um, the only way you can check it is if you use a block data command like this. I don't think. Actually, let's see. I'm not sure if it says it. It says no. no, no. Yeah, it just says it says just uh, that they did not have the required MBT tags. So there really there there is no way to actually uh, visually represent this. But other than that, I mean, it still works fine. So you can definitely use it for, you know, sorting data and have it set to be, uh, have it set to one if you wanted to like have the game start. 
have it set to zero if you don't let the game start, etc. Moving on. So now we can actually use signs as well in the same type of way. Um, here's some stuff that I've set up. Block data. Uh, text one. So right now the game is in progress. Game ended. Blue team wins. And red team wins. The nice thing about this is there's actually four lines. So per sign you can actually have four different tags. So you can pretty much have a sign that overviews the entire game. Another thing you can actually, that's kind of nice, is you can actually literally see exactly what the status of the game is. Um, and you can check for that as well. So I think if I have, say, game in progress, set this guy to game in progress. Then you can see that it turns on. So basically this command, test for block coordinates, uh, standing sign, or whatever type of sign you want to use. Wall signs apparently do cause lag if you use too many, so just be warned about that. Um, negative one again, same reason, and then text one colon, and then the te uh, the text you want to use, and then if you want to use check for text two, like let's copy this, paste it in here. Let's say we want to say, let's put blue team wins here. So just delete this, type blue team wins, and then let's put blue team wins there, and you can see the blue team has won. So you can actually literally completely check, and using one side you can actually check to see. Game in progress, red team wins, you can check their scores if you wanted to set a third line. There's just a lot of possibilities with this. Um, yeah, take it as you will. Over here, we have the game ended and game in progress once again. This time, as you always, you can actually use the actual text field or command block. So, game ended. Oh gosh. Stop the mouse. Okay. Game ended and game in progress. So you can actually set the text using this. Uh, block data coordinates and then command colon game ended same with game progress to check it the way that you do it is you basically just put um, command colon game progress using the test for block so test for block is actually has a lot more um, you can check for IBT tags which is kind of nice there's also going to be a couple of new features with the new snapshot like you actually will be able to set uh, specific coordinates and you'll also have to be able to, you'll be able to have more control of the MBT tags if you do a control click on a block you'll actually get the block um, or a control middle click to control pick block it. You'll actually get the block including the command with it. So yeah, they're adding a lot to MBT tags, which will make map making a lot easier. And yeah, so using the test for block command, and say, say game and, oops, I can spell progress. Cool. And if you start the game, game is in progress. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and I will see you all later. Bye.